So the last thing that we're going to do is calculate the loan life cover ratio. So first, um, the loan life cover ratio formula is just, it's the sum of all the cash flow available for debt service, all present valued until time zero or until today, and that you divide by the amount of debt outstanding today. What we can show algebraically is that using a constant debt service cover ratio is just equivalent to using the loan life cover ratio when you are calculating debt capacity. So in order to show that, you can unpack this formula for debt capacity again. What we did is we took cash flow available for debt service, we then discounted it, so each of the years we multiplied by a suitable discount factor to get us to time zero. And then for each of these years, we divided that by 1.5 times, which is the constant debt service cover ratio. So to calculate debt capacity, it's just the sum of every year cash flow available for debt service multiplied by a discount factor to take it to time zero, divided by the constant debt service cover ratio. So if we express that in sigma notation, we get the sum of CFADs multiplied by a discount factor divided by the debt service cover ratio. And we know algebraically that we can take that constant debt service cover ratio out as a common factor. And that gives us one over debt service cover ratio multiplied by the sum of each year CFADs multiplied by an appropriate discount factor. So what we have on the left-hand side of the equation is we have the debt capacity or the amount of debt at time zero or today is equal to one divided by the debt service cover ratio multiplied by the sum of CFADs multiplied by an appropriate discount factor. Now in the brackets, the sum of CFADs multiplied by uh, appropriate discount factors just gives you the present value of CFADs. So what we see is an algebraic relationship that details the loan life cover ratio formula, because if we just rearrange that, the loan life cover ratio is just the sum present value of CFADs divided by the debt outstanding. And that gives us a loan life cover ratio, which in this instance was just the constant debt service cover ratio of 1.5 times. So this just illustrates that if you use a constant debt service cover ratio, it's the same thing as using a loan life cover ratio to calculate debt capacity.